Hello and welcome to a video that I wouldn't usually do, but today I thought I would take a look at the CSL PCIe controller um, that enables um, two times SATA free internal connectivity. This is an expansion card, or um, two times eSATA 2.0 external connectivity. So if we take a look at the box, it's quite appealing. If we just slide the little sleeve off. It gives us a nice brown box. If you open it up, we have an anti static bag inside with the expansion card itself. It's quite an attractive black PCB. That's the reason I chose this one. It matches the uh, black PCB I have for my motherboard. And inside the box, we have the expansion card itself, a driver disc, and some instructions. So if you want to stick around, we will see how this performs inside my system compared to the onboard SAT controller. As you saw in the video, I think the sleeve packaging design is a brilliant idea um, for a product this small. I think it's an attractive product overall, and I personally don't have any complaints about this. Um, later in the video, I'll show you the performance. As you can see, the little jumpers on here, you move these into the position dictated in the manual, and that will decide whether you get whatever combination of um, internal and external SATA that you want. You can have both internals, which I believe that is the default position that the jumpers come in. You can have one internal, one external, or you can have both external. On screen now you can see the test results um, using the internal versus the uh, add-in SATA controller. There's no real difference. Um, I used the same drive for both, I used the same test for both, I used Crystal Disk Mark version 5.1.2 and um, if you want to look at the results in detail you can pause the video. Um, I was testing on my system which is an AMD based system um, with an AMD Southbridge that provides the SATA 3.0 connectivity. Um, no real difference so I am happy to recommend this card. I have no qualms with it so uh, if you are in the market for a uh, SATA expansion card for both, or well, I suppose I should say for either SATA internal connectivity or eSATA um, connectivity, this is the card for you. I couldn't test the external SATA connectivity because um, my motherboard does have eSATA ports, but I don't have any eSATA devices and um, I personally don't see what I would use them for. So, uh, as an internal SATA card, this is a great purchase. I am happy to recommend it. If you want to see more videos like this on my channel, remember to uh, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. Uh, and I will see you next time.